Hello and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to the Max Power My Player Series here at NBA 2K12. I'm not telling you which episode this is yet because I keep, keep, keep forgetting to say so. The reason why I'm here at the the trade menu is because, well, during the break, he, he and his coaches during practice have been arguing a bit. Gee, that does sound like familiar plans here for Max. So, he is contemplating, and the team right now, he's currently not joining for the Nets and the Knicks. So, if we go into the standings right now in the conference, the Knicks are 19 and 20. If you look at the playoff picture right now, they are the sixth seed, while New Jersey is the eighth seed. But he wants to build something from the ground up, which right now that's pretty. He was, he, Atlanta could be that choice. For him. But if he stays west, he could go Sacramento or Minnesota. And even the Lakers are in the. Oh, out of it. But it's still in the new year, so. Continue on here as we are one and a half games back of first place. We have 43 games left. We have 31 days left, so now it is time to play our next key game here as they take on the Houston Rockets at the FedEx Forum here. As we'll see, Max, if you'll scan the FedEx Forum here. Oh, wait, we already did. So, Max hits a small forward for the Memphis Grizzlies, <laughs> for right now at least. Unless the coach keeps arguing at him, in which case Max will demand a trade, and we'll find out where he goes. In fact, of all the time I've been doing NBA, my player series is here. None of the press conferences, video shots, haven't been the thumb shot. But now it's Martin Luther King Day. And Evan Turner is now a rocket, really? Yes, that Max is a weirdo here. Because he is... So, with Max gets traded, if the team stays the same colors, which Memphis is the only team that has these colors, it'll automatically change his coloring system as Max is out there as the Rockets have a commanding 13-2 lead. This is turning into the Trinasia game. As Max at center? What? That's Sally May's job. Come on. No. Thanks, Doris. Uh, well, guys, give us your thoughts on that. Well, you know what? I think the game plan for a lot of teams, really good teams, starts with good deep. So it's pretty much what I expected to hear. And for this club, that's the way it should be. I mean, they need to send a message defensively right There's away. There's a good foul as Max fouls him. So luckily, this is not kicking the nuts. Which, speaking of which, he's coming up next. Oh, and the MLB trade deadline passed. The Dodgers got Brandon League and uh, Shane Victorino. While the Angels only got Zach Greinke off the a day a couple days before, and the Dodgers also got Hanley Ramirez. But now both the Angels have the Dodgers have to do in the offseason try to re-sign Victorino and Greinke to long-term deals. So now let's get now we got that subject out of the way. And he's good on the second. Here's Holiday. As there you see Memphis, as Max is starting to like this building, but not as popular as the FedEx Forum was. Wait, I mean the Wells Fargo Center. So it won't hurt if he, he would not, he will consider, considering as Max misses his first shot of the game here. Objection! Wait, that's Phoenix Wright. But I guess it didn't hurt to say objection in this one. As he allows the offensive rebound, and he allowed his own guy to score. Ugh. Red hot max power. As, but he got the ball back. Covered by Hayes, and 
as he draws the foul. So it's time for the free throws. Back to what Steve just said, in terms of rebounding, they did not have a good time of it when they spurred off previously. And once things started to go bad for them, guys, and they did go bad, I mean, they were that much less aggressive on the glass, and that's a no-win formula. Eldon Brands checked in for Houston. Patterson comes in for Chase Buttinger. Up missing both free throws. Uh, come on, Max. Outside Flynn, he picks him up defensively. Turner working against Martin, gathers, and it's Patterson finishing it off. It's been really impressive at both ends of the floor so far early on. Yeah, and it's for that reason that they've been able to jump out ahead early here. There's Red Hot. As there's Pepys. They continues to make their move as Max misses again. Oh, boy. did a really nice job blowing up and getting that rebound. As he goes against Johnny Flynn from Syracuse's fame. As he gets called in for the reach. And, uh... Oh, my God, Max. So he is out, and he comes back in with a minute 42 left to go in the second half here. So Max is back, and now he's against Patrick Patterson, in which case he's screwed. No, it's Elton Brand, excuse me. I forgot Patterson's 54. Got a piece of it. Backing down his Brand. From deep. So the, the Magic, the Rockets, are up big time here, 47-25, as there you see Max getting the ball back, and he loses it, and it's a turnover. Uh, as so everything has gone wrong for Max here. Feeds it to Poe. By Prince. Shot to stop the drought. Poe misses. I had plenty of space for defense. And now it's against Seven Turner, sure formerly from Ohio race. State. Patterson backs down. Now here's Turner. He's got 16. Five to shoot. There's the three. That's good. Oh my god. Memphis, stop sucking. You guys are the second best team in the Western Conference. That's why Max chose you. As well, he got the assist. Hold on one second here. And now they're down by 23 here. But here in the second, he's turned it around. And here is Turner. He picked up 18 points in their last win against the Lakers. Prince kicks to Patterson. There's the dish to Turner. Here's the beat. Off target with that shot. That will count. But the, nope. At the end of the half, it's a, been a blowout. The Rockets... Rockets 50, the Grizzlies 27. Now it's time for HP at the half. Thanks so much for joining us on the HP Halftime Report for Martin Luther King Day. As always, the NBA putting on a special round of matinee games. Let's get to the first half. No doubt Evan Turner so leads scoring for the Rockets, while Kevin Martin leads for the Grizzlies. Plenty of offense for both in the first half. Let's check out what's on tap around the league. Good idea. It'll be the magic out of Amway Center. Whoa! The Jazz, the, the Jazz have a winning East record. I haven't seen that one in a long time. And one game also on the docket. The wow, the, the Andre's team has Chicago. a lot of talent. And since when did they get Andre Iguodala? And oh no, the, the Lakers are taking on the Spurs. Jeez. That one gets going at 7 p.m. Eastern. 
That'll do it for us here. Whoa, what what happened to my where did Miami come from? 31 and 8. Oh that's right, LeBron didn't bolt. And there's Grizz. And thanks for joining us again, folks. 2K Sports Broadcasting here on Canada. And now with 2.59 left to go, and now Max has been subbed in at center here. Here as he picks on Patrick Patterson here. And there's Rodgers who signed with the Suns prior to Steve Nash leaving Phoenix. Here's Turner. That's it coming off an assist from Trogic. Turner's got 21 in the game. Well, I like that he's come up with some big baskets for this team. And so far, Max has decided that if he decides to demand a trade, which right now it is up in the air right now, as Max fouled somebody again. And it's Patterson in a prohibited spot, Manning the middle. Oh, boy. I swear, at this point, he's probably going to be fouled out at this point. Chuck Hayes. Chase's buddy here. Here's Lee. Looking for his first bucket of the game. At this point, I won't be surprised if he fouls out at this point. He's picked up by Hill. Lee passes to Hayes. He's guarded by Battier. Here's Trushik. As he allows the offensive rebound and he allows the man to score. So he's still at a deep plus right now. So. And there's Max. And he still misses. Earlier in the game, they held a 25 point lead. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. And it was just a fantastic all around effort. And there's the leave assignment. Uh, now at a D average, so he's about to, he's still in the safe zone here. As Allen gets the foul, so it's Max has been moved to small forward, but if you guys watch the Trevor Lewis series, they're the younger team and they're currently in rebuilding mode. Since they, ever since they lost Yao Ming. Reduce the gap. Oh boy. That's pretty much close to near impossible right now, the way the Rockets been playing. As there's Max trying to score his first points of the game, and, and of course he loses the ball. And he gets blocked. And he goes out of bounds. Then Orlando, then Minnesota. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. Here is Lowry, averaging 14 points a game. He's guarded by Hill. Hill against Lowry. Unloads from nine. Shot is no good. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Turner with the steal. What a steal. That's some excellent defense right there. And Patterson kicks the Prince. Thank you, Martin. The turnover difference hasn't been in their favor. And now... I like the fact they're staying aggressive here. Uh, he came away empty there, and uh, that, that's a shot that should probably go down. Now he passes to Brand. Kicks it to Prince. The dive for the ball. Stolen by Mark. So a couple of poor possessions now in a row consecutive. Both times turnover. That's not productive basketball. That's not winning basketball. No, I that's Charlie Sheen basketball. Back back. But yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that would be funny. That should be. I want to see that happen. That's his third foul of the game. That's 
the right call there. He tried to take the charge, but did not have position. No, he didn't, Steve. He was out but of if, if, if I had a block. choice to stay on a losing team, or stay on a winning team, excuse me, I would Here's stay, but Max is considering a trade because the coach is pushing him too hard. That's stupid. That's stupid, Max. But I don't think he's going to do it. And that's now it's time for the advertisement. For January 27th. Hey, there's Trevor Lewis's team. Don't miss it. Yeah. There's Grizz again. As Max is back out there. Here's Holiday. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Petering. Fourth quarter action. All queued up and ready to go. Taking a look at the Grizzlies. Red Hot in at the three. Go well, pass it to Sprites, his teammate since this time in Detroit, as Max gets the assist. Well, he's not getting the buckets, but at least he's help. He's a good helper. He gives it to Poe. He meant to pass it to Rudy Gay, but I guess he didn't. So there you see Max as he's trying to try and get the basket here for the first time this episode. But instead he passes it to Holiday and he gets in another assist. Carving him up inside there, Kevin. I mean the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good offense. So Memphis is starting to pull off a comeback here. Back to deep lot, back to the average again. Don't forget the policy here. If you get three Fs, there, fought the player is will be fired. And there's Max's first bucket of the game. But so far, only one player seems to get that, and that's Mac. That's uh, that's Lightly Bolton. As he allowed an inside pass, and he allowed him to score. No, he didn't. Gotta wonder about the effort defensively. They did not get back there. Yeah, you know what? A beautiful finish one way or the other, though. There's Max again. All ten of their last points have been inside the paint, so defensively you've got to make an adjustment. Yeah, and you gotta do a little more to stop it too. I mean, it's coming way too easy for them. At some points you just gotta buck up and say it's not gonna happen. Let's it go with a three. Shot, no good. The Grizzlies trail by 14. Here's Kane. Buttinger grabs the board. So it's Houston now. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. There's the leap assignment. So he's back on the average again. All he has to do is stop Buttinger. Pocket six. Good. As he allowed him to That's score, so ball. it is back to he to make it. Right he's sharp shooting right now. It's fun to watch. And I'll call the Grizzlies. They're going cold. And a smart time out here to give them a Max, second. Max, right now, is not doing real right well here. But at least he's starting to make a comeback here. With the shots he's been making here. At least he's starting to make get come back up the leaderboard. He's starting to make his way up, but Eldon Brands checked in for Hayes. Patterson comes in for Jenkins. Tayshawn Prince has checked in for Chase Button. And it's Lowry in for Courtney Lee. Patterson against Space. From 20 feet out. And now we are, as the Grizzlies are down by 14 here. Rockets leading by 14. 
McGee comes over with a double team. Outside Flynn. Prince kicks to Bannister. McGee gets a hand on it. And here are the Grizzlies now. It's a 14-point game. Picked up by Flynn. As he gives it to Poe, and he missed. He missed. As there's another leave assignment. But with one minute left, he is not getting an F unless he constantly gets these assignments over and over and over again. Right now, I extremely doubt Point taken. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Now Holiday. Picked up by Flynn. Outside Holiday. Rocket it two. That is it. The Rockets will win 60, 67, 67, 52. That's going after it there, guys. The Rockets win. So Max loses a, a truckload of skill points, which I should have used in the first place. So Max is not happy. In fact, I'll, pro I'll probably be shocked if he announces he's demanding a trade. But now let's head on to the press conference. Right now. The team struggled to stay in the game tonight, and the final score ended up not being even close. Do you think there was anything you or the team could have done differently to change the outcome? I don't usually think about things in those kinds of terms. I wasn't happy with the result, though. There are plenty of examples of ways we didn't execute or play up to our ability tonight. But I don't think I need to list them out. We've got some work to do in practice. Coach will make sure of that. I'll leave it up to him to go into details of what that means. All right. So, so things in Memphis right now are not looking good since Max stepped into town. Max stepped into town, Ed. I cannot believe he's doing this because this is probably the dumbest decision that, an, that a player in the NBA has done. He is requesting out of Memphis. His first choice back to Philly, okay, that's kind of understandable. Then the second choice will be the Sacramento, uh, New York Knicks because I don't know why, because he guess he wants to join Reverend Lovejoy, I guess, and the third choice is New Jersey, so I think this should just about do it. Come back next episode to find out where Max is going, and thank you, Memphis. Don't worry, we'll bring you back in a, in a future My Player series. Later, folks.